Hey everybody, and welcome to Game of Thrones. Now, I need to start off by saying I know virtually nothing about this series. I haven't read any of the books. I haven't seen the TV show, which I know sacrilege, but I do know that it was written by author George R.R. R. Martin. There's several volumes in his series. I believe that it's still going. He hasn't ended it yet at the time that I'm doing this recording. And <clears throat> I know Game of Thrones from people talking about how great it is, talking about how much sex there is in it, uh, the TV show now, um, and possibly the book, but I've heard about TV show a little bit more uh, since most people don't like to read as much nowadays, and <clears throat> from the episode that South Park did from it, where they had George R.R. R. Martin uh, conducting an all-male choir singing we know we know we know we know we know and that was hilarious and apparently for the longest time everybody was waiting for dragons um but game of thrones wasn't something that you know reached out and gripped me and made me you know say oh i must watch this but i will say <clears throat> that the thing that did get me about this series now is that it's being done in video game form by one of my favorite video game companies, Telltale Games. They tell awesome stories, uh, the choose your own fate kind of stuff. If you want me to expound more on how much I actually love that company from a gamer standpoint, from a writer standpoint, you can listen to me gush about it in my Minecraft video, um, Minecraft story mode, and Borderlands, uh, or from the Borderlands, or Tales from the Borderlands, excuse me, that I did prior to this one. Um, I think they did extremely well on the first episodes of those two, as they've done in the past with other series like Walking Dead and uh, Wolf Among Us. Um, <clears throat> they did stuff before with Sam and Max. I I'm not sure about playing through Sam and Max because it's a very different type of style than their more recent games that have won them a... Uh, uh, acclaimed success, you know, uh, it's more of a point and click adventure in Sam and Max than it is in these, but I digress. Um, I was hoping, or I'm hoping that this will have the same effect on me as the previous two Telltale games that I played did, which gets me involved. It makes me interested in a series that I was not interested in in as much before through good storytelling you know in telltale games i have faith that they can do that again so without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's dive into the game of thrones <clears throat> now even though i haven't read the game of thrones i absolutely love um what's it called i absolutely love lord of the rings like one of my favorite movies or favorite movie series and each of the movies is like three hours or three and a half hours long i love it um and i read the wheel of time series maximize your gaming no thank you i don't need that right now oh look at them they look all types of handsome they're wearing uh roughly sewn clothes and leather which is well the ice dragon is now available. Oh, and it's got a dragon in this one. Well, I only have um, episode one for right now. Um, so, we shall see. We shall see where my fate lies and how my story will unfold. Ah, uh, yes, the Northerners will never forget. Tyrion Lannister. I, I thought that, from what I saw, he was the protagonist. No, the antagonist of the story, but I'm not sure. Teach me, oh wise Telltale Games. Make me a believer. Why are the cogs now rusted? Or is that just a sheen on them? I don't know. But it's very cool. It is very cool. Okay. Of course it is. I wouldn't expect anything less Telltale Games. In fact, that's why I'm here. For thousands of years, House Forrester has have been loyal bannerman to House Stark. 
In the darkest reaches of Wolf's Wood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now the North has been ripped apart by war and rivaled houses seek to claim forest or ironwood for themselves, and the fate of the of House Forester hangs in the balance. But okay. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, both breaker, brought to his knees by the men of the North. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Ah. Ah, right, right, right. It is the right stick that does this. Oh, but before I continue, uh, The Wheel of Time. That was the other series uh, that I had read. That was amazing, but it's similar to this. The Wheel of Time. Make sure it's spotless this time. Old Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on. It's only blood. Oh, well, yeah, that's a good way to get now your that, sword to rust. A proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You... We'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest, you are just a squire. I will. You'll see. Of course, your lordship. <clears throat> After you take your rightful place on the Iron Throne. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> Andy what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> so what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's Kenny man here, and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I, I'd a hand in it. Aye. And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? <laughs> what did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, that's fine with me. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served <clears throat> House Forester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach. House Tully is forever in his debt. You've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your cup. The night we celebrate. Oh, cool. I need a drink too. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the King in the North. The king king of the king of the Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester <clears throat> has been given the greatest honor to lead the young wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The gods have favored us. Onward to Casterly Rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! I am from ice! Aye! Yeah. Got it. Iron from I sound badass. Yes, my lord. I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, well, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. With me, my lord. You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? You served me well. To bring honor to House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were born to it. There were those who had their doubts when <clears throat> your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. 
Mm. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. Yeah. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Yeah. Bloody hell. Knew it. <laughs> Squire, fetch us more wine. Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? No problem. Yeah, no problem. I have been a squire longer than you. So? I outrank you. You should help me. Wait. Wait, what? Wait a minute. More wine. Scrub my armor. Clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck yeah. do you know about it? Whoa. Nothing is worse than Norin. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. But not by much. Don't get angry with me. We're no different, you and I. Aye, but I'm not the son of a pig farmer. My father had dignity. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, okay. Jesus. At this rate, we'll never be more than this. Which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. Pulling wine around a fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. Give it time. You'll get there. Or easy for you to say. Mm -hmm. Maybe if my uncle were castle in a house forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? Well, it's right over there. The twin stronghold of House Frey, the Red Wedding. Well, something calamitous has to happen. Take your time. You Dude. ought to have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Why are they all armed? Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong? into you. You're acting rather odd. You've had too much wine. We need to get back. Now. No. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter. Owen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. <laughs> but what about... What the hell was that about? Slow down, would you? What's the rush? There's no need to fucking run. We have to warn the others. Yeah. Warn them about what? There's no time to explain. We need to find Roderick. He's out there by himself. Oh, too late. <laughs> time to go. <laughs> Betrayal! Fuck! We need to get back to camp! Oh my gosh! This is cool! We have to get back! There you go. What do I have to press? Press and hold R2 and drag with that. 
I could do. I did. Find a weapon quickly. I did. I honestly, he did. Let's do it. Let's do it. Internally. Oh, he's got more than one wound. Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. All right. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hearts of those traitors. What the phrase you have to go. Well There's still time, my lord. We can both you get. Must go, my lord. By I... your gods. You will obey me. Fine. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. The future of the house may depend on it. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, Damn right. No now go. The North Grove. You, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those uh. fucking foresters! Catching it with the bear. Oh my gosh. And if that was a great sword, that would be heavy as hell. We know we know we know what. Get another wiener. <laughs> Such a dick. Such a 
Park is such a dick. <laughs> Trey Parker and Matt Stone, you have forever ruined the song for me. By ruin, I mean you've made it extremely wonderful. Oh, I'm, I'm into it. I'm, I'm super into it. I can't help but be. Got it. Iron from ice, baby. Oh, I, unbeknownst to me, picked the title of the chapter of the episode. Cool. Iron from ice. Well, I forgot. So he was the only one to survive. Okay. How did he get that sling one, and why didn't he clean the blade? Ah, oh, whatever. I probably would have left the uh, the blood on there, too. Alright, so what have we got? Usually, there's something that you can pick up within the first couple of scenes that'll help with whatever's going to come later in the chapter. And it'd be like, oh, I found some twigs and some pig feces. And then that'll be used for like a torch later on. You can combine both of them. Okay can't do anything to the pig, so... Up, 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 here we go. Look at it. Lord. Fresh. Man. It... The only... Oh, okay. It's a dead pig. A dirty dead pig. So I'm guessing some village was ransacked, and these pigs that I'm seeing now, or some farm was ransacked, and the pigs that I'm seeing now were part of their livestock that just so happened to get out. Yep. Makes sense to me. I have seen this scenario in far too many of the, the novels that I've read. I understand. Um, what was it? Robin, Robert Jordan was the one who wrote the Wheel of Time series and then Brandon Sanderson took his father's car. His dad. His da. Because they don't usually put the last D on it. It's Ma and Pa Lord, or Da. Give us fucking titles for this. Just two letters. It may be common, but at least still have his bacon. Oh, so you were just looking for pork belly? <laughs> no! Wilbur! Usually one of these buttons makes it. I think it's R2 usually makes it. Oh, and for those who don't... Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Where'd you get that sword? Not a hmm. chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself. Probably a deserter. None of your fucking business. Ugh. We're gonna feed you to the fucking pigs. You, are you strong enough to that wield this? That sword's too big for you, boy. Kinda you is. can barely pick it up. Get. Off. My. Land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. Oh. Ah, okay, here we go. I, I haven't seen anything like that before. I'll have that sword, boy. You'll have it. Yeah. Damn. All right. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. 
Okay. I mean, I tried to be. Yeah. That, uh... And they are a pig farmer, huh? <laughs> One. Good, good. Give me the, give me the, uh... I did. Oh. Come on, give me the, uh, pitchfork. Nice hit! Uh, damn, he tore tendon. Or muscle sinew. Uh, yeah, you kicked him with your hurt leg. Oh my gosh. Yes. Please. I beg of you. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. I, I was only following orders. Show mercy. Yeah. Thank you. But there's still one left. Lord Whitefield will see you hang for this. That much I promise. No, because they were going to survive anyway. Plus, he might come back and help. And I wouldn't kill him unless I had to. You know, like that guy with my axe. Father? Garrett, you survived. Your sister. She hid. Mm. I tried to stop them. Don't worry, Father. Oh. He died before I could console him and... Did his... Is that his sister I'll or his mother? I'll kill the man who did this. Hmm. But at least my dad got to see uh, me be a badass. But like I was saying, uh, Iron Wrath, Stronghold of House Forrester. Wow. Um, Robert Jordan wrote The Wheel of Time, and Brandon Sanderson. It's Garrett. Uh, Get the castellan. Tell him his nephew survived. Books. Um, because Robert Jordan passed away before he was able to finish them. Now, most of them were written. It just took some bridging of ideas, fleshing out ideas, and um, overall dead. piecing together the story for him to They're finish. already dead. Because he left a lot of notes. Bring the maester. Meet us in the Great Hall. Quickly. Um, that, uh... There's no anesthetic. Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. And mm -hmm. we can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah, and that's where I'm gonna cut the episode. So, Codex, what is that? Oh man! So these are the characters that I can read from the Codex. That's actually very cool, and I like that. But uh, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting beside myself. I'm getting him. So I'm gonna cut the video here. This is very interesting like i'm 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 with it i'm in it I, I, i'm i'm ready i am ready and you know it, it may seem like oh you're doing a lot with all these telltale games but 
it's the season for it. You know, it's not as warm outside. It's a bit gray outside. It's getting cooler depending on where you live and what hemisphere you're watching this from. So it seems like it's the time where things are hunkered down and you sit around a fire to listen to a good story, to watch a good story, to watch a good movie. It feels appropriate. It feels right. And I'm absolutely ecstatic that Telltale Games has so many projects going at once that I am I am fully invested in seeing these stories and how they play out. So thank you so much for joining me. If you liked it, mash that like button like there's no tomorrow. Share the video with the world. Hit me up on Facebook. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about the videos thus far. And I am the outlier and I will see you all in the next video.